this out just moments ago. Right calf strain for Stanton probably won't be ready for regular season. Wow. I mean, come on. This is this is now a practical joke, right? It's unbelievable. So the guy played 18 games last year with with leg issues, and now he has a right calf strain. And from what I've felt over the years, calf strains scare me, Don. It yeah. seems like it takes forever to come back from them, especially for a heavily muscled guy like Giancarlo. That's a big blow. You can't keep taking body blows. And the only reason everyone thinks you could take body blows like this is because last year they took body blow after body blow. Uh, a major league record, 30 players went on the I.L., 39 different times, and they won 103 games. But that could be the outlier. You can't always depend on that. And so you're not going to have Stanton open the season. Aaron Judge hasn't played yet. Right. You've we... already lost Severino for the whole year, probably the half of next year. And you've lost, lost Paxton. And Domingo Herman's gone for the first 63 games of the season to complete right. a suspension. That's a lot of firepower to lose. I'm not saying they're in trouble. I still think they're the best team in the American League East. But when they signed Garrett Cole to me, that put them way over the top, put them on a shelf above everybody else. Now you're knocking shelves down, and they're getting closer to the competition. No, it is just unbelievable. And not to mention, too, because we brought this up yesterday, can you expect LeMayhew to play at an MVP level? He's a very good player, Michael, but can you ex maybe think he might take a smidge back? Can you expect the same numbers from him? So I believe they can slug their way to a divisional championship and get through the 162 games just by mashing the ball. But if there's questions about Judge now, questions uh -huh. about Stanton. Oof. I it's mean, a, Peter, it's, it's every day there's every, something. I, I'm, I'm mind blown. It's unbelievable. Meredith Morakovich just texted me. She said it's a grade one calf strain, so that's, that's the, the, the least that you could have. And it's in the right calf. But I'm sorry. You can't keep suffering body blows. You're going to get knocked out at well, one point. You could say it's not as, like, serious. That's, like, the best, I guess, grade that you can have. But here we are, what, five weeks or, I guess, a month from the start of the season, and we're already rolling them out for opening day? So it's obviously significant enough that it's going to keep you on the shelf for a, a month. That was a... That was a... I can't say it was a bad trade, Michael, because they didn't give up anything for him. But that acquisition so far has really meant very little. Aaron Boone said he'll be up against it when asked if Stanton will have enough time to get ready for opening day. And not to mention this is a guy who, since he's gotten here, has basically not found a rhythm. So, so much for trying to get, you know, start the season cleanly, get a rhythm going early in March, April... It's Not amazing. Gonna, it will we'll be we'll be back to the same thing where he's coming back to like the skeptical boo birds of the Bronx and waiting to see if he gets back in shape and really gets going because we haven't seen a comfortable Giancarlo Stanton since he's been here. Really. And and remember this, all right? So the Yankees open on the road in Baltimore and then they go down to Tampa Bay, which is you know a dome stadium. After that, they're coming back home, beginning of April. So it's going to be cold. So you figure that's not going to be really great for anybody who's dealing with any calf injury or muscle injury. This is not great news, man. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and try to make nice and put lipstick on a pig. This is a serious situation, especially a day after you find out that Severino is going to be out for a year and a half. Oh, Peter makes